Introducing Risk Registrar, a new application for Microsoft Windows. Risk Registrar helps busy people to do effective risk management. In this video, I'll talk a little about the risk management process and then show you some of the main features of the software. Risk Registrar will guide you through the risk management process. The first step in the process is risk identification. What are the risks to your objectives? The software will help you to compile your risk register. The next step is risk analysis. Think about the causes and consequences of your risks. For each risk, what is its likelihood? What is its potential impact? After that, the next step is risk prioritization. The software will help you to put your risks in order. Then your risk management effort can be aimed at where it's most needed. The next step is treatment planning. What controls might reduce the likelihood of risks occurring? What countermeasures might reduce the impact of those risk events if they do occur? The last step in the process is risk treatment. This is where you put your treatment plan into action, reducing the risk to your project and your organisation. Together the first four steps are called a risk review. Risk management is an ongoing process, so your first risk review leads to risk treatment, and then you start your second risk review, and so on. Here we have Risk Registrar loaded with some example data about the risks to a business. We've started a risk review, and we're at the risk identification stage. If we're aware of any more risks, then we go to the Insert tab and simply click Add Risk and enter the details. Here we see a list of the risks entered so far. We can go to View and click by Category to see them organised in that way. Moving on to the next stage of the risk management process is a matter of two or three clicks. We go to the Home tab and then click Risk Analysis, which is the name of the next stage, and then click to Confirm. At this stage we enter information about the causes and consequences of our risks. Also using the likelihood and impact grid we grade our risks like this. We need to grade each of our risks in turn. If we try to move on to the next stage in the process, Risk Registrar will remind us that we need to grade all of our risks before we can proceed. As well as working on screen, you can get a printed copy of your risk register and the software will also transfer information into Microsoft Word or Excel. Another feature that I'd like to show you is the risk register diagram. This gives a more visual presentation of the risks, which are shown in the middle, their causes and their consequences. Now, after we've gone through the treatment planning stage of our risk review, our diagram also shows the controls that we intend to put in place. These are shown with the red circles. I hope that this short video has given you a flavour of how Risk Registrar works. Thank you for watching.